Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Socializing. And today's topic, I thought to look something that, you know, maybe a lot of people are thinking about it. And I did uh, once, so I just searched to see if what's going to happen if you want to work from home. A lot of people work from home now and they would like to stay that way. So it's, you know, the title is once a sought after perk, working from home could be here to stay. I hope so. I like to work from home. Um, so what it says here, the quarantines will end, so no later, remote work could be here to stay. As the coronavirus pandemic forces millions of Americans to shelter in place, many are forced to do their jobs from home for the first time ever. As you, we know, pretty much everybody works from home, other than the grocery stores and, you know, big chains of stores. And uh, when all this is over, a lot of those workers would like to stay that way, including. It says that in recent years, employees have increasingly sought out positions with remote working capability in addition to flexibility and generous amount of time off. The flexibility, even my job, I have it and it's great, but you know, not everybody can have that. In order to achieve a better work-life balance, according to a poll, more than 1,500 working adults, this poll is conducted by the employees, right? Benefit provider. And here's a um, like a chart saying, you know, each person, you know, from the poll, what they would like and what they do. And you can study it individually. I don't want to just get stuck on this um, chart. Let's read more. I think a takeaway from this pandem pandemic will be more people recognizing the value in remote work. I think it is, uh, I, like I said before, not driving, saving no gas, pollution, and uh, being more home that you can, you know, arrange your schedule. Some people can, some people cannot, but at least you're there. You don't have to drive and waste your time on driving. Uh, it helps with business re resiliency in unforeseen circumstances and also gives people more choice in when, where, and how they work. And a lot of people value that. I, I, me including. All right, so before COVID-19 outbreak, only 7% of workers in the U.S. had access to a flexible workplace. The benefit, the telework, which I don't understand why. Why employees don't let people work from home? You know, you can manage them through all this, you know, technology we have. Uh, you can still keep track. I mean, you can see them on the video. Um, I don't know, but that's me. Those workers were mostly managers, white collar professionals and highly paid. Naturally, remote work is less common in certain jobs that rely on face-to-face -face interaction, such as hairstylists, sales associates, and restaurant servers, obviously. Yet some have found a way. Let's see. Sonia Aminetti Sengos is a stylist and personal shopper at Neiman Marcus in New York. Before last month, business was booming at the newly minted department store off the west side of Manhattan. And obviously, everything stopped after that. So she met regularly uh, with clients for fitting and one-on-one -on -one clothing consultation, as well as hosting, hosting fashion shows at the store. Okay. Now she works from home. She posts daily clothing suggestions and reaches out to clients over email and even by phone for gift ideas and closet consultation. She managed. She survived. While retail has struggled, Minetti uh, has retained her business through the virtual interactions. And, and you can. A lot of people can. I am starting this channel and uh, I'm just starting. As you can see, it's very unknown at this point, but I know it will pick up. It is just a start, but this is technology. This technology era, we have to utilize it. You know, it passes by. I'm old. I'm not young anymore. So now we have to think of how do I stay engaged or keep my clients engaged? She said. She also posts links 
to other offerings throughout the store from skin care and gourmet food. My work has transitioned to letting my clients know it can be everything and anything from candle to a pair of jeans. Everything's online these days. It's crazy. But that's the way it is. New generation. My kids, you ask them, you know, how it was to go in a booth to make a phone call. They don't even know what's that. What do you mean a booth? What? What? All right. It's going to be up to the experience of the employees and their assessment of how well it is working. Okay, Drew. We'll see. Time will tell, right? Um, it will be very interesting to see after all this passes how much of this telework will stick. Senior writer. Hmm. In a recent poll by career planning site Zipier, 51 of workers said they would rather work from home full time than go in office. See, it's past 50 percent. At the same time, nearly 60 percent said they didn't think working from home would become permanent. No, they didn't think, but I, you know, probably will. Ultimately, it is too soon to tell whatever the COVID-19 pandemic will bring telework into the mainstream. Yeah. It's probably too soon, but I think it will. It's going to be up to the experience and employees in the assessment, like he said. It is a large and unexpected experiment, which I think eventually will happen. Um, people will go to work or they, they will go to meetings. They will go to gatherings. They will go to, let's say, a new product comes in. But uh, mainly they will work from home and meet clients at different places you know it's going to be a little bit less work and in fact if you think about it you know you stay in that office for all these hours the artificial light is bad for your eyes you know ac because there's so many people breathing in that office again is bad um plus all the things that you know like i said before the driving and the gas and the pollution and so what's the good thing about the office? Hmm. It's good for the commercial real estate because if some all these people, they will work from home, who's going to rent their commercial um, offices? Nobody. That's okay. They will change them into the um, apartment buildings because there's so many buildings everywhere. They, you know, life, I mean, people adapt, don't they? Um, okay. So we did that. What else should we look for? I said I'm going to look for politics. No, investing. No, markets. Markets. Currencies. No, I, I like this. And uh, working from home was one of my primary topics to talk about. The, the rest is all what happens now. But this one, it says the unemployment benefits for gig and self-employment. These workers won't qualify. No, it's a, we're just the only thing we talk about. Let's see her Instagram. She's doing great. I love her posts. She's cooking. Everybody can do this. She's, she's you know, presenting the clothing. She looks great. She has a lot of friends. It's awesome. You go, girl. That's what I like. It's a survival and she's elegant and she knows how to present clothes. And we should do the same. Yes, continue like me. Yes. And that's about uh, this for today. The Instagram, turn them on. And okay, so many things. But that's what it is. All right, and that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow, and we will talk, pick another topic. And hopefully, I'm still at home, so I can do this full time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the gaming. I'll go and stream very soon, and um, just check my 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 channel. It's um, because I'm just starting, it's not so developed like the other ones. You know, sometimes you feel intimidated by all these streamers and gamers because they've been doing it for so long. But hey, you know, it's never too late. I truly believe in that. And um, anybody can do it. Why not me? I can do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.